Hey guys, Delzy here and welcome to my fully automatic wheat farm tutorial. Now if you were subscribed to me a while ago you may remember that I uploaded a tutorial on how to make a automatic wheat farm and it's this little baby here. Basically we have wheat and if I hit this lever what happens is the water comes out and it harvests the wheat and then you can replant the wheat, uh, wait for it to grow and then rinse and repeat and so all the wheat and the seeds come down here, you can collect them up, you can chuck them in a chest and then obviously um, replant. Now this is all well and good, but you know there's obviously better designs and I'm going to have to show you how to make a much better wheat farm than this one and it's more efficient, takes up less space, etc. And it's fully automatic. So, introducing automatic wheat farm V2. Uh, it's this little baby, it doesn't actually look like a wheat farm whatsoever, but uh, you'll see what happens basically. I'm going to get rid of those seeds there and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to place the seeds on this toiled soil and then you're gonna watch the magic as it unfolds so three two one go whoa I should probably change to creative mode haha <laughs> survival mode yep clever mode um, okay here we go get rid of that seed there attempt number two here we go so basically what happens is I place the seeds on the block and then the magic happens so what's happening is you have two dispensers in front of me the left one has seeds in it the right one has bone meal in it and what happens is basically they cycle so one's going to give me seeds one go and then the next one's going to give me bone meal the next go and uh, what's happening is there's a bud switch which is basically detecting seeds being placed and then wheat growing and then there's pistons pulling the soil down making the uh, wheat harvest and uh, it's just going back and forth so I'm going to show you how to make this in a second uh, you can get about 75 wheat per minute with this design so it's really quick it's really efficient. The only downside I see to it is the amount of bone meal it requires. It basically requires as much bone meal as you want to have wheat grown. Um, seeds isn't a problem because with every harvest you get two seeds and so you're always getting double the seeds you use and so that's really nice and you can just keep doing that like so. So we'll chop that seed in there. Um, we'll hit this lever. You can see I have a whole heap of wheat in here and then I can chuck my seeds back in and uh, there we go about 70 uh, things are weird in that short period of time and uh, I suggest that if you have a skeleton XP farm or grinder I would be using it to basically get all my bone meal um, but if you don't have one then you're gonna have to find alternative methods maybe going out and getting the skeletons in the night so uh, let's switch back to my inventory and switch back to creative mode and I'll show you how to make this uh, to make it you're gonna need three sticky pistons two dispensers building material and then some redstone stuff so what we're going to do is we're basically going to place down two blocks like so and we're going to place the dispensers facing inwards like so, um, facing towards each other. Uh, then what we're going to do is in between them we're going to dig down twice, we're going to place our sticky piston facing up and place our building material on top. Then underneath the block in front of it we're going to place some redstone and then we're going to get a lever out and we're going to basically put a block on top of the redstone and put a lever on top of that then that will basically open and shut that very simple and uh, that's going to stop us accidentally walking into our farm while we're using it. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go back, back twice, uh, so two blocks, we're going to dig out twice again, place another sticky piston down and place some soil on top of that. Then what we're going to do is right next to it, dig down twice again, we're going to place a redstone torch next to our sticky piston and it's going to extend. We're then going to dig out two blocks to the side and we're going to place some redstone going towards our sticky piston. And then we're going to connect our building material to the soil that's popped up. On top of that we're going to place another sticky piston. We're going to place block onto the sticky piston. Then in front of the sticky piston and the block we're going to place a redstone torch like so. We're then going to place two blocks next to the redstone torch and we're going to put some redstone on top of those blocks. Uh, on this side, the right side, we're going to basically connect our redstone up like so. Bring it out one place a block down, place some redstone on top of that and then place two blocks down and uh, we can get rid of the second block we're going to place a redstone torch on top of that and then what we're going to do is going to get our building material we're going to place a block on the side of our redstone torch on top of our redstone torch then on the block on the side we're going to place a redstone repeater like so get another block, extend it out, place some redstone on top uh, now what we're going to do is we're basically going to bring two blocks out like so 
connect redstone to our first dispenser. Then what we're going to do is going to build two out and then two high here. So it comes out three, connect redstone up to it, one, two, three, and then comes up one, one, two. Then we're going to cut the wire off on this by placing a block that just basically splits the wire like so. Uh, so what we've done is we've created a bud switch and we created one of these when we made the day night sensor and what it does it detects when there's a block placed next to the piston. For example if I was to place a dirt block right next to the piston like so you should see it extends. When I destroy the dirt block it uh, goes back it retracts and so what this is going to do is it's going to detect when the wheat is planted and when it's grown. Um, and then what we need to do is we need to basically put some walls down here and uh, we're going to get a water block and we're going to just place it in there and then we're going to trap it in. So we need to be quick here. Let's place it next to our... Are you ready? Oh, there we go. Don't want it destroying our redstone wiring basically. Uh, so now we're pretty much done and we can just tidy up everything. Basically place some walls down, uh, a roof on top. I like to basically place a... Um, some glowstone in here it just makes it look nice it means that it's always light in here and we can just basically get rid of that place a block here on the wall and then we need to toil our soil like so and uh, we can begin so we need to put some seeds in one of these dispensers so we'll get some seeds out and we'll place those in then we need to put some bone meal on the other dispenser uh, so we'll get some bone meal out and we'll place that in and then what we need to do is we need to make a spot on our hot bar like so going to change the survival and then we just need to get one seed out place it in our hopper stand two blocks away and then right click and hold our button down like so and that's going to start the process and so obviously as I said the downside is the fact that it uses quite a lot of bone meal and bone meal may be hard to get in your survival world I don't know maybe you could get lots of bone meal and so that's not going to be a problem for you uh, obviously you can make a skeleton grinder or XP farm and that's going to solve that problem immediately but it's obviously dependent on bone meal this farm uh, but it's really nice it's really compact it's really efficient and as you can see you get lots of wheat in a very short period of time which we can then pick up we can turn to bread uh, also if you're going to make this on a survivor 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 server is what I meant to say uh, you need to basically make it slightly different due to block uh, the lag that comes with servers so basically we're going to get rid of this redstone path that comes alongside actually we're going to get rid of this block in fact um, that comes along the side and what we're going to do oh, we can keep you there let me just get a block out instead of having a redstone path that comes along the side what we're going to do is we're just going to literally place a torch on the side of this block here and what will happen is when this powers it will turn the torch off and so it's going to alternate like so uh, this does make it slower and I'll demonstrate as you can see there will be a difference so let me just get rid of my seeds uh, we can keep one though so let's keep one place it there whoops keep one get rid of our bone meal uh, so you'll notice that it goes a lot slower than before um, getting a bit of lag here I don't know why but it goes slower I think you get maybe a 60 uh, wheat maybe 650 to 60 wheat per minute instead of the 75 but this works a lot better on servers just due to the server lag that you're going to receive I tested it out on a server that I play on and it seemed that this works a lot better also if your server's running MC MMO um, green finger might be or green thumb I should say may be a problem so you may want to make the building material behind the dirt block um, here maybe dirt or something that's not affected by green thumb because uh, that also kind of just stops the process a little bit but other than that uh, it works fine on servers it's just a case of server lag and if you don't get server lag then that's not going to be a problem but anyways guys um I didn't actually make the design I found it on YouTube and I just thought it was too good not to share with you guys as I'm using it now and I thought you guys may like to use it as well uh, so the guy who made it, I'm gonna place his link in the description to his video so he can have credit also you guys seem to want to have my world download so I'm gonna put that in the description as well you can download my world uh, but that's really it guys so if you enjoyed the tutorial please hit like it really helps me a lot and helps other people find the video and I'll catch you guys on the next video peace